back. I keep, I took a picture on my phone so I know where I am. If I took this one. over so I'm just going to put some adhesive around here and then you can just lift up this and stick it on uh, with your with your photos and continue to glue it so I'm going to glue the bottom and up the sides a little not too much and then just leave the rest of that unglued so once you get the photo that you want in there. You can just lift this up and, and stick it on. This is just a photo mat. I think it's for it's a Sis 6 um, die. And this is just going to be some sir again chipboard and these. Just going to barely overlap. Just right on, almost on the frame. Press it down. And this is another one, chipboard, just a sticker, and I'm going to glue it down. And match it right up to the top. And I want it to hang over, so I moved it enough. This is just craft. You'll get one of these in your kit. And this says, life is good. And I'm going to put it Oops. them easier to handle, at least for me, to do that. And I'm going to stick the memories just right in there. So, this is the first page, or page, front page of the scallop, and it sits in this, in your book, the holes are on this side. And at the top of the book, and we'll put it together in a minute. And this is the back side of it that you can see. It says life is good and memories, and says anything. And this one says thankful, thankful for you. So that one's done. So we have three done today so far. cut my pieces. I have these um, they're little red. I think these are mostly for sewers for holding seams but they, they're good for flattening things and everything. So that's what Take pictures. 
pictures of the tablet, so I guess I'll just see. My phone was dead, so I just might as well look. This is the tab, and this is the back side, so we'll go over here to the to the front side. And let's see, I'm just gonna do this one here. So again, this is a six by six cut apart, and I just uh, I don't even think I had to trim it. I may have had to trim it just a little bit, but then I used the the circle punch to just get right down in here and trim it off so you can see that it's a pull apart. So we're going to glue it on three sides, and then this will be the tag that you'll put in. So you'll actually have two places oops, for... pictures you'll have one here and one here and we're going to put this says changing seasons um, up here on the tab part of it just so it looks like it needs something up there so stick it kind of in the center some of this will show when your book is closed. Not a lot. And then this one you want to just uh, do three sides. And the reason you use wet glue is because if you uh, use score tape on this, it ha it's just going to make it everything stick to your score tape. I'm going to put a grudge right about here. Right here. Push it down. Push it down. And then this book has a lot of real estate, but if you think you need even more, you can uh, use some of, if you, you have uh, some photo s sleeves or something like that, you can, and I have a fusion, you can add them in there and cut some holes, or punch some holes, and then you have it, this obviously does not want to fit in here. tag needs to be a little smaller. I'll just trim off a little bit on the side. Well, maybe a little more than that. Like a fourth of an inch or an eighth of an inch on both sides and then It's hard to tell exactly how wide you want it on the, until you get the uh, ink on there. Let me find that. This is the angle punch. Oops, you can see that? That you use angle and photo. I don't use the photo very much, but I do use the stub a lot. And just repunch it since I trimmed it down. And I'm going to stamp it here. We'll find something to put on the top of this. Go back and add some juice probably to make it. Alright. Whoops. I'm going to side stick right there. has no tolerance for letting you move move fast enough to do all this. I'm going to have the gluing drying.
there's nothing that says you can't alter all this stuff if you don't like the shape of it just fussy cut it out which is what I did on the next page Let's see how my tag locks it in there now I don't think it's dry that way. I don't want to leave it out for a while okay this is the back of it this was um, I fussy cut out. It was six by six, and I just kept trimming and trimming and trimming, and it had the same design it's on this end as on this end. And so I just cut it off to fit this to make it a tag out of it, and uh, or a pocket out of it, and then adding some. Uh, going to put the fall fun tag up here and everybody think and then this will have some actually I think it's over here this is going to have I run the banner the other way and it's going to say Chris Bear if you can see that so that has oops, count your blessings and fall fun up there and this tag will be down here just right on the bottom trying to decide if I like it there because it covers up my little tab thing in there. There and maybe if I move this down in the center. This just can go right over to here. That's the good thing about them. Because these words, small words, were really well on the banners. This is, again has chipboard on the back. one that is going to Oops. I may have to move it over here to make it look like I want it to. my tags fit a little better. Alright, so now I'm going to, remember this was cut apart, that I just cut apart and trimmed it up to fit in my 
then I had to cut the bottom off of it to make it fit on this page. This was one long banner that said count your blessings, but I never could get it to fit on there the way I wanted it to. It just kept being too long everywhere trying to put it. So Okay, that's how not to kind of tag to fit. I don't know what, why it's the wrong size, but it is. this paper cutter you tell it doesn't cut well when it's not opened up I want it opened up Teeny tiny pieces of something trying to get in there.
not know why this won't. If I keep doing that, it won't open at all. Maybe a little thicker card stock tab to put in here. So we'll pull. When I get the rest of this done, I'm going to see if I can just put two tags over this and see if it'll or another tag over it and some thicker cardstock and see if that'll help it. It's an end. Just needs a little bit of talking to about its behavior. So I glue this back together. is a large tag that uh, will have the paper on it. Sunflower. Tag here. And this one is uh, a pocket. And like I said, there's really no way to do this uh, in your book. You organize it. You just put it to the weather that it looks the best in. Okay, this one is cut apart get this untangled. The advantage to folding this under and you can see take this loose right here. Um, this is where I scored it a fourth of an inch because that's as big as it was. And then folding it over and then I mitered the corners here here and on the top so they wouldn't show or interfere with things you're putting in the pocket. So this is just a card or a 4 by 6 cut apart and what I'm going to do is just put it on here right above the um, second and third pocket. second and third pocket. I'll have to probably punch just a little of this pocket, the second pocket, or the middle hole, I mean, in that pocket. So we're going to have, this will be a festival of color sticker. And again, this is just the sticker. I didn't do anything else to it. And just took the baby powder, the powders, and took the sticky off. This is going to be here, and then is going to go piles of leaves right down here. And there's another banner somewhere in 
there is happiness. If you want to, you can cut a punch out. I guess we should to kind of. So this is five and a half. So the center would be. burglar alarm going 